Now then, guys, welcome to Stras Gaming. I am Luke. This is my journeyman save from Football Manager 2019, and things are hotting up. We have got probably the next two episodes, and the most important episodes are the save so far. Today, as things stand, we're taking off Man City in the uh, in the Carabao Cup. No, in the Europa League semi-final first leg, and then we've got Cardiff, a team that I used to manage. In the Premier League. But what have we been up to since you've last seen us? Well, I say not a lot. A lot has happened. You saw us obviously draw against Tottenham. Get the draw against Tottenham. Made them drop points. Then we lost against South Berlin. Fire to that, we managed to beat Bristol City 1-0. Manchester United. We managed to absolutely stuff them. 3-1. It was such a good game. Derby. We beat them 4-1. We went kind of 1-0 down. Within five minutes, we got a goal back in the 13th minute. But it took like a spell in the second half of 10 minutes of just us to score another three goals. Putting us back up there. We are still top of the table. If we have a look at the competition, we are still top of the table by, at the minute, four points. Which is good because Tottenham have a game in hand, but they have a better goal difference than ourselves. So if they win their game in hand... They're going to go back top. So we need to just have a quick look at their schedule. They've got, well, they've got Liverpool, Liverpool, Watford and Man City. They've got a tough end to the season. So hopefully Liverpool can do us a favour and beat them. And Man City maybe can do us a favour and beat them. They've got a tip, They've got a harder run. And plus they're in the semi-final of the uh, Champions League as well. So this is massive. It really is massive. So... Like I said, Man City in the semi-final today. They're fourth in the league, but let's just get straight into it, shall we? Tactics-wise, this is the team we're going to be lining up to face Manchester City. We've got Lars in goals. We've got Hutchins, Service, Letty, Lovric as our back four. They've absolutely shined this second half of the season. They weren't that great together at the beginning of the season, but we've got them going, we've got them working. Lovric coming in has been a massive help for us on the left-back side of things since he's coming in January. We've got Pixton, we've got Vinch, Chiesa, Penne, Martial and Waring. We have also been set the budgets for next year, but I'll show you them probably at the end of the next video because it is going to be the end of the uh, season at the next video. Well, might be. We might have a final to do, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on here. So we just need to just kick off today with a good game, a nice win. What was it? We're at home. Do not let them score, so we don't get so they don't get the away goal advantage and all that sort of stuff. Let's just we have faith. We can go out and done that. Do do this. We have beat Man City this season, and it starts the semi final. It's going to be a good semi final. I've got a feeling for it. Right, the first highlight is going to go towards us. Was it? No, Man City. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely Man City swinging in their way. Sane on the ball. They're in, they almost score. But I don't know if that's a good... The ball's just stopped. It was a good save from Lars. Puts it out for a corner. They whip it in. There's no one really there, but they eventually got the ball back. We clear. Is that just going to be the end of the highlight? It is the end of the highlight. But we've got a throw-in straight to them. This time, they lose out on a throw-in, which is good to see. So it's not only me. If we score from this, it's justice for all the times that we've had bad throw-ins. Kays is in, shoots, hits the post. Unlucky as now we've got a corner, crosses it in, and we hit the crossbar again. And this time, Man City are going out to attack, but Hutchins with a very good tackle. All right, 41 minutes in. It's been an entertaining game. I say, I say entertaining, we've not seen a lot of it. But possession-wise, we've had the most shots. We've only had two on target. We've had all the possession as well. So the stats are looking good. But we just need to grab a goal before half-time. I would be so much happy if we did. Hutchins, Savis, crosses it into Martial. Can't find him. Binch, Penne, Hutchins. There he shoots, hits the bar again. How many times do we want to hit the woodwork today? Right, we've got to throw in deep in their area. And they're going to not win it back. They almost did. Binch, Hutchins. Binch shoots just wide. We've seen him score them all season long. And half-time comes along, and it's nil-nil. The only other problem is, the team that we're going to face in the final, if we do get there, is going to be a team I can cannot pronounce. And I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Uh, I'm pleased with what's going on. We're not losing. We're doing all right. 
So we just keep it up, keep doing what we're doing, and we should be fine. So I've told them to show some passion as they get the goal kick. We're going to build it out from the back, hopefully. Don't make any mistakes. Lars, in fact, we're not going to build it out the back. Lars just boots it upfield. Straight to a Man City player, though, and then they're going to build it from the back. Can we capitalise on this, or is it going to be a chance? It's, who's this going for? I don't know. We're both playing well in midfield and defence. Martial's in. Shoots. Hits the post again. How many times do we want to hit the woodwork in today's game? I'm going to have to make some subs, though. Pen 8 has just picked up a bit of a knock, so Longsdale can come on. I'm thinking Pixton, because he's, he's on a yellow. Not having the best of games. We'll put him on. I think Waring as well. He's probably going to be the one that's going to make way in the next sub just to get on Sajenko. I'm going to make that sub now, actually. Sajenko's going to come on. Not only because Waring has been the guy to go to in the minute striker-wise, because I was thinking... The two strikers we've got aren't that great. And we do have some quite good fringe players that can maybe get into the team and start scoring for us. So we've just got to be careful with the strikers. And they're going to go 1-0 up. And it's kind of against one to play. They've had the same shots. It's just more of a clinical. We've just let them go through us, really. Sane here puts a pass through to Jesus. And Lars looks the wrong way. He should have done better with that, really. 1-1 one, one would be nice. So can be there. Hits the bar. There he is. Sajenko's there and he scores. Again, we hit the bar. We hit the woodwork. But luckily this time, Sajenko's there just to tap it in. All right, Lonsdale with the cross. Watching it in. Sajenko with the header. Doesn't get it. So can be picks it up. Hits it. What a strike. Off the bar. Edmondson makes the save. Pushes it straight out to Sajenko. Who taps it in. Making it 1-1. One, one. Can we get another last-minute goal? That would be nice. 2-1 would be lovely. I know they've got the away goal, but going into them with a little advantage would be lovely. So, Jenko, Longsdale, Hutchins. Penalty. Got to be a penalty. I've seen them giving all season long. We do. Marshall stepping up. I think this will be his 21st goal if he scores it. He does score it. That is his 22nd goal of the season, sorry. Anthony Marshall scores for us from the penalty spot. We've got the lead. We just need to now not let them score again. That's what we don't want. I feel like full time is here. I'm buzzing. We've managed to get the win, but it's not over yet. They do have the away goal advantage. A good win, boys. At least we've got a win. Now we've got Cardiff in the Premier League, which again is so important. We can't afford to drop points to these bottom teams. We've got Cardiff, I think, last day's Huddersfield. It's, gay. it's teams that we need to beat. We have to beat. So we're going to get straight into the Cardiff game next. And just fingers crossed we can beat them as well. We're not at the Cardiff game yet. But this is important here to see. If Tottenham manage to beat Liverpool. It's going to be massive. It really is going to be massive. Tottenham 1-1. They, I think they've dropped points. Tottenham have dropped points. They've drew against Liverpool. Which is fantastic. So I think that puts us in. <sighs> right, same games of us now. Three points in it. We just now need to win. We're three points ahead. We just need to win our last two games. And I think we've won the Premier League. That's going to be lovely. Right, let's get into this Cardiff game. Because it's not all over yet. Cardiff line in 16th in a relegation battle. It is going to be a tough game against Cardiff. So here we are then. The Cardiff game. I have changed things up a little bit. The team's looking a bit tired. I'm having to rest a few players, which is doing my head in. Uh, service, Lovric, and the other centre-back that we use. What's his name? Lete. We just have to rest them after every single game. So I'm trying to rotate them a little bit. So the back four looks as Lars, Dudu, Service is playing. Tunstable's on onto the left-hand side of him. Hutchins on the left-hand side of defence. Pixton and Bert, Bert, I think I'm going to take Pixton off actually and start so can be. Binch is there next to him. Chiesa, Longsdale, Dave and then Sajenko up top. Hopefully we've not rotated the team too much. Fingers crossed we can get this win against Card. If we are at home, we should beat them. The players we've got are good enough. And like I say, if we... We just need to win the last two games of the season. We really do. This is really important. 
the league is massive. I'd love to win the league. Because if we win the league, I can look to move move club. I really can. Obviously, I want to be the best football manager in the world. And I want to try and win everything in England. But we win the league. We're in the Europa League. And if a job comes up in Spain, for example, like Real Madrid or something like that, and they move. This highlight is continuing from the kickoff. It, it's, it's ending. I don't know why I commented on it. I'm just going to drink my tea. Right, Dave Ayers, Hutchins there. Dave, Vinch, Hutchins crosses it in. Kays is there, taps it in, making it 1 0. Eight minutes on the clock, but is it offside? He probably is. Uh, no, we've given it. He's fine. Right, so can be there. What a free kick that is. Putting his 2 0 up. We are doing well. We are doing very, very well at this moment in time. But also, we're on the same amount. Of, no, we're not. We'll have a game in, game advantage. Sorry, on um, on Tottenham. They still have another game to play, which is going to be against Manchester United. And I don't know if it's going to do the weird thing and make them not finish the Premier League season until after everyone else has, because I've seen it before. What a lovely goal from us then. Dave getting the assist. Sajenko getting his 12th goal of the season. We literally are tearing Cardiff apart at the minute. Chiesa just passes a lovely ball to Dave. Picks it up, crosses it in. Sajenko's there. Dave is class, by the way. He really is class. We also, on the bench, we put on uh, Diaz on the bench. He's one of our youngsters that have come through the um, the youth system. You didn't, I didn't really show you the um, the youth that came through this year. We had... Oh, Chiesa's just scored again. We had a decent in, intake. Not many players, but there's a good youth setup coming up at this team at the minute. We've also won the under-23s league as well. Which is good. I've looked at our under-23 players. They're all right. They're not sensational, but they're all right. They'll do. It's a lovely goal bomb from Chiesa there. All right, another highlight. Dave's taking the throw-ins, but obviously he should only really take them on the, the left-hand side, not the right-hand side. So can be there. Hitchens. So can be. Hitchens. Crosses it in. Sajenko with his hat-trick. 5-0. At half time, well, it's not even half time, and it's five nil. I think I'm going to bring on the youngster at half time, just to bring give Hitchens a bit of a rest. I think it's going to be the right idea. So can be there, so can be Serjenko even scores. We're having such a good game, we really are. Right, half time, five nil. There's not much more we we could say to the lads really, other than we're happy with it. We need to sort a of goal difference out. We're going to make a debut, though. It's an 18-year-old, Diaz. He's got potential. He's probably a better centre-back, but we need left-back. So I'm going to train him to be a left-back. His crossing's two. He, he's got a lot of work to do, but screw it. In fact, he's been around for a while. This is, this is his debut. I probably had other left-backs I could have played, but screw it. We're going we're gonna to be playing a promising centre-back at left-back. That's not going to harm us at all, is it? Sajenko with another free kick. Longsdale's there. I think I'm going to have to take Sajenko off in a second because he's looking tired as well. They're playing a the ball down this, uh, well, our left-hand side here. And to be honest with you, if I was Cardiff, an 18-year-old making his debut, I think I would definitely start be playing these balls down there, our left-hand side to try and see if he's any good or not. Right, Chiesa with the free kick. <sighs> Almost grab a goal, but we don't. Paul, I'm going to pause it in a second. After this highlight, I am going to pause it. We're going to make some subs. Chiesa. Do I recognise any of these Cardiff players as well, actually? I didn't think. Diaz, with his two crossing, does manage to get it to a player. that we want. Binch is there. Dodo crosses it. Dave's there. Chiesa, he gets his hat-trick as well. It's been the Chiesa and Sajenko day-to-day. It really has. Let's skip this. Let's pause it. Let's make some make some substitutions. I'm going to bring on Waring. And then I'm going to take off Chiesa. He's had his hat-trick. Bring on Reese Nelson just to get him some game time. He's not getting much game time. I, again, I'm tempted to sell Reese Nelson because we've got players with potential that can be better than him and the younger. So it's whether I need to just invest in that. Sell Nelson to get some money into the team. Here he is, Reese Nelson, though, going for goal. Longsdale's had a couple of chances today. Not scored. And we've had 16 shots, by the way, on target. Their keeper's had a decent this game. He's let six of them in. 
Another free kick. <laughs> Another penalty by the looks of things. It is a penalty. Waring's going to step it up. Come on, make this 7 0. He does make it 7 0. I feel sorry for Cardiff right now. I really do. It's my former club, and I'm absolutely battering them 7 0. But we need the goals. We need to try and get our goal difference up there. Um, what was the swing? Do you know what? We're doing it. We're actually making our goal difference. We were behind on goal difference as this game stand, stand stood today even. We can't. There's plenty of time left. We can't get another goal, can we, and make it eight. It'd be ridiculous. There has been some stupid results in this league this season. Binch to Dave. So can be. Out to Longsdale to Binch to Dave. So can be. He's there. He shoots. He scores. What a goal that is. Making it eight nil. It, we shouldn't really be celebrating now. We really shouldn't. It's just a training session for us at this this moment in time. And this is a team playing like they want the league. They really do want this league. 88 points to their 82. But they've got two games to play. We've got three. Oh my God, Sokambi's just done it again. He has just done it again. What a stupid goal that was, making it 9-0. I've never had a game on Football Manager go to 10-0 before. I'm just saying. So can be. Just picks it up out of nowhere. Puts out a wonder strike and just scores. I feel so sorry for Cardiff right now. I really do. Can we not give them a goal? No, full time. 9-0. A 9-0 fashion. I am glad that I did this on camera so you guys saw we had two hat-tricks. We almost had a third from Sokenby. I've never won 9-0 before. That's crazy. This is how good this team is as well. I don't. I, I feel like I have to have another season. Uh, we got what we wanted today. Good. I, I feel like another season at Arsenal to win the FA Cup and Carabao Cup and try and win the Champions League with them and then move on. I think that's my next bet. But, oh, they've got a game in hand. How many points? What is the points difference? So it's six points. There's a six-point gap. They've got a game in hand. Our goal difference is now massively better going into the last two games of the season. So, guys, we'll be back literally for the semi-final leg against Man City. And then we'll be taking on Huddersfield in the last game of the season, which we have to win. We have to beat Huddersfield if we want any chance of winning the league. But 9-0, what a result that was. 2-1 against Man City. So far, things are going well. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you in a bit.